in the amendment. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Picky, members, as I was saying to you before I was interrupted, this is an amendment that creates accountability. All we're asking is that the providers, people who are going to receive funds, give us the information. That's all we're talking about. I know everybody is trying to not get engaged. Members, you should be engaged. This is information regarding what's going to happen in your community as it relates to broadband. It requires us to be responsible for what happens in our district as it relates to state government. Again, this is an amendment. It does no harm to the industry. It does no harm to the fund. It does no harm to the comptroller, to members of the legislature, but it informs and it keeps us them being accountable to us. How can you be against that? Again, members, I would ask you to really think about what your role is here today. What is your role and responsibility to the districts you represent? Because many of you have districts that are underserved and you know it, your schools are not connected. Many of you have needs for telemedicine, you're not gonna be connected. You don't know the speed of service that you're going to have connections. All we're asking is for information to be presented so that we will know what our expectations should be from this, inv this investment, this public-private partnership. That's what this is. It's a public-private partnership with regard to providing services for our citizens. The question is if the public is willing to be responsible for its part. That's what my amendments do. It says we as state legislators care about what we do, how we do it, how much money we spend, what the benefit is for our districts. That's what this amendment does, and I would ask you to vote uh, yes for this amendment so you will know what's going on with this investment, this incentive this is an incentive to get companies to do this with us. Don't we want to know whether they're doing it or not? Don't we want to know just that information? Again, I would ask you to really think about what your role and responsibility is here today and encourage you to support this amendment so you will know what's going on. With that, I move adoption. The chair recognizes Representative Ashby to speak in opposition to the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, so the good news here is you're not taking a vote to say no to reporting. Again, as a condition of the federal funding for these award recipients here in the state of Texas through our BDO office, the three different criteria that she has indicated that she is looking for uh, in this amendment, number of customer serves, the download of and upload speeds that are provided, and the location serves, those are already a condition of the receiving of that federal money. So again, this is an unnecessary minute. It's already covered. We're gonna have plenty of reports on this. And so I would respectfully ask you to vote against the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Chair recognize Representative Davis of Dallas to close on the amendment. Again, members, I don't wanna spend a lot of time uh, to get a partisan vote. I will tell you that I'm really concerned about public policy. And at this point, the vote appears to be nothing but politics and, and party politics. And that's not why I'm here. I don't want to waste a bunch of energy trying to argue with the, anyone with regard to what they need to be doing. I would just suggest that as members of this legislature, we have a responsibility to our uh, constituents. Uh, we all have that responsibility. but. The other part is I will tell you, when we start coming back and asking these questions and you don't have the information, I hope you remember the debate where you had an opportunity to weigh in and say, I want to know. I care about what goes on. I want to be sure I can tell my constituents that we invested in them through this investment. I want you to know that that's what we're here for. And I understand, and I'm hearing all the rattling about, well, we, we got this, they're going to give it to us. I don't know how many of you have served on the committees I've served on where you requested information and you've not received it. I know serving on Ways and Means, many times we ask for this information. And in fact, if you ask them now to give you how many providers they have, you ask the larger vendors 
How many, how many people do you provide a service to? How many people are underserved where you are currently working? How many people have a lower service level than you have seen in other areas? If you just ask yourself, ask them that, they'll tell you. They can't tell you that. Then they will tell you, well, we've got a plan for poor people. This is not a plan for poor people. Five billion dollars, this ought to be a plan to make sure everybody in Texas is connected at an appropriate speed so that they, we can do the business we need to do in this state. And to sell for less would just be ridiculous. And so I'm just suggesting that members listen up. I'm gonna ask the questions and Chairman Ashby said that we can get them. We haven't been able to get them because if so, uh, we, would, we wouldn't be here today. We wouldn't have as many communities not connected because we've had this incentive before. Not at this level, but we've had incentives to connect our communities. We've had situations where funds have been spent to create jobs and we can't find the jobs that they were supposed to create. We've had situations where we've created jobs and they were supposed to be one kind of job and it ended up being a lesser job. Why are we afraid to require them to report what they actually do? So I would just, I would just encourage you, I mean, I, I get personalities in this chamber is about personalities. I get party politics is about following the leader. You can't lead, you got to follow. I get all that. But the one thing I don't understand is why we don't want to do public policy. This is a simple public policy issue, informing you as members of what's going on with this amount of money. And so I'm going to ask you to think about it, and then I would hope that you would recognize this is about your responsibility as a member to ask the information critical to your constituents. If you duck under the table in your desk, I can't do anything about that. I'm just going to suggest that you have an opportunity, and I would encourage you to use this opportunity to find out what it is you need to know. With that, I'm of passage. Representative Davis sends up an amendment. It is not acceptable to the author. The question occurs on the adoption of the amendment. A record vote has been requested. The clerk will ring the bell. Show Representative Ashby voting nay. Representative Davis of Dallas voting aye. Have all voted. Show Representative Harrison voting nay. Have all voted. There being 63 ayes and 81 nays, the amendment fails to be adopted. Following amendment, the clerk will read the